Well, I've got a wonderful uh, crop of onions um, growing here. Really nice sunny spot at the top of the allotment, free draining soil, doesn't get too wet, the water goes down through to the lower parts and the onions have done fantastically well. It's amazing to think that these big guys started out as tiny little onion sets about the size of your thumbnail. Have a look at this here. Take a look at this guy here, isn't that absolutely beautiful? That is rock solid and it's still rooted. You can feel that, it's hanging out in the soil. It's got a bit more growing to, growing to do. Now, how do we know when to harvest our onions? Okay, can you see this one here? See the stem on this onion? It's nice and vertical. This onion is still growing. See this onion here? The stem has fallen over but the stem's still green, and when you give it a tug, it's still quite firm. What you're waiting for is when the stems have fallen over and the foliage has started to die back. That tells you that the plant is not really growing. All the energy is being sucked back into the bulb. That is when you lift your onions. So these have got a little bit more to go yet, probably a few more weeks, I'd say, and then we'll be harvesting them. And when you do harvest your onions, there's a simple technique that you can use to prepare them and to dry them so that you'll have onions grown by yourself all through the winter. Okay, here is an onion that is ready for harvest. Just have a look again. Beautiful fat bulb, papery skin on the outside starting to brown. The foliage has fallen over so the neck's collapsed here and you can see that the foliage is starting to die back. So there's no more growth in here and everything's sucked back into this. So literally just grab a hold and lift it. There we go, there's one here, but there's another one right here. See that, same story, fallen over. Just look at the difference. This one here is almost there now. Look, see it's loose, so that one can come out too. I just wanna show you this one though. Can you see this one? See that, it's just still got a little bit further to go. So. Coming back to here, just pull this one out now, okay? There we go, that's a couple. You coming up too. So, nice and floppy, these onions are at their peak for harvest. So we pulled our onions and we let them sit on the soil in the sun. And as you can see now, they fully dried out. There's a lovely rustling sound, they're crunchy, they're papery. So just before you store them, you want to give them a quick check. You're looking at your onion to see that it's nice and firm. There are no bruises and there's no disease because if there's a bruise, it will slowly rot. So checking them, all good. You can take off any loose paper. You can pull off any roots as you want. And you can plait your onions, but the stems on these are quite brittle so actually I'm just pulling them like this and there you go that's an onion ready to store and where do you store it in something like this so you see these tiers of baskets you've got plenty of air movement because the important thing for your onions is that they stay dry not too warm not too cold either stack them in there if you do have any with bruises or any signs of disease just peel them and use them straight away but otherwise these onions should last us, well, for as long as it takes before we eat them, which actually won't be very long, but they could last you right the way through the winter. So, happy storing, happy cooking, happy onions. <laughs>